A building that generates its own energy sounds like something out of the future. But imagine no monthly electric bills, no utility rate hikes, because the building is doing all of the work on its own. At Hurlburt Field, it's not science fiction, but a reality, as the new AFSOC source selection facility nears completion. It's called a net zero energy building, and according to base energy manager Chris Hood, it's easier to achieve than you might think. Energy-wise, this is kind of taking our standard construction on Hurlburt and modifying it with minor modifications to get it to a point where we get near a net zero type of energy condition. As one of the first net zero energy buildings in the Air Force, it takes that Air Force energy motto, make energy a consideration in all we do, and puts it into action through the use of modern technology and good old common sense. It's got extra insulation, it's got some high efficiency uh, heat pumps, um, although they aren't ground source heat pumps. It's got, um, you know, obviously good windows, good doors, um, and then it's got the solar. So the solar is, is an attempt to do the increased supply part of the, of the three pillars of the energy program. But officials know it takes more than just an energy efficient building to make a difference in energy intensity. All base personnel must change their habits. The goal is that people will be inspired by what they see in the new building. So that the base personnel can see this and actually if somebody comes in here they'll see the energy consumption in the building and, and that'll be a readily available and a, a interactive tool for people to look at and understand, okay, here's how the building is performing. And I think that's an important part of um, getting culture change embedded into everybody's day-to-day -day operation of the buildings. The AFSOC Source Selection Facility at Hurlburt Field is one of the first net zero energy buildings constructed by the Air Force and is expected to be in use in early 2012.